Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremiah Brown. You're about to see a video about a specific treatment for your retinal condition to help save your sight. Having any type of treatment or surgery is an important decision to make. To help you decide if this treatment option is right for you, I want you to understand what to expect. This video will explain how the treatment can help preserve your vision. It also explains the possible risks associated with this treatment. Sit back, relax, and watch this video. We'll be happy to explain any questions that you may have about this retina treatment. At the Brown Retina Institute, we are committed to protecting your sight. When you have diabetes, your body does not use or store sugar properly. This can cause changes in the vessels that carry blood throughout your body, including your eyes. These blood vessel changes can damage your eye's retina, harming your vision. This eye disease is called diabetic retinopathy. Your ophthalmologist has chosen to treat your diabetic eye disease with laser surgery. This treatment can help slow the progression of your diabetic eye disease and save your sight. To understand how diabetic eye disease affects your vision, let's take a look at how the eye works. Light rays enter the eye through the cornea, pupil, and lens. These light rays are focused on the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. The retina has two areas, the peripheral retina, which gives us our side or wide-angle vision, and the macula, the small area at the center of the retina. The macula gives us our pinpoint vision, allowing us to see detail clearly. Proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or PDR, is a stage of diabetic eye disease where abnormal blood vessels begin to grow on the surface of the retina. This is called neovascularization. With PDR, many blood vessels in the retina close off, keeping blood from flowing properly to the retina. The retina responds to this problem by trying to grow new blood vessels. However, these new abnormal vessels do not provide proper blood flow. They can also bleed as well as lead to scar tissue, which may cause the retina to wrinkle or even detach from the back of the eye. If similar vessels grow abnormally in the front of the eye, they can block the drainage channels of the eye and cause high pressure and possibly glaucoma. Both your central and side vision can be affected by PDR. Your ophthalmologist has recommended a form of laser treatment called panretinal laser photocoagulation, or PRP. It is also known as scatter photocoagulation. This laser treatment helps stop abnormal blood vessels from growing and bleeding. PRP is usually performed in the office and generally takes around 15 minutes. An anesthetic is used to numb your eye and a special contact lens is placed on your eye to help keep it from moving and to focus the laser. It is important to keep your eyes as still as possible during the treatment. With PRP laser treatment for diabetic eye disease, a laser is targeted at many spots all around the periphery of the retina, avoiding the central macula. Many small burns are made to the retina. This treatment causes the blood vessels to shrink and often prevents them from growing again in the future. It also decreases the chances of blood vessels bleeding. In some cases, multiple laser treatments may be necessary. As with any medication or procedure, there are risks of side effects and complications with PRP laser surgery. These may include temporary pain, decreased night vision, blind spots in your peripheral or side vision, loss of central vision, retinal bleeding, retinal scar tissue, and continued abnormal blood vessel growth or bleeding, which may require additional treatment. Other treatment options may be available for your diabetic retinopathy. Depending on what your ophthalmologist sees in your eye, these options could include medication injection and other surgery. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose PRP laser surgery for your particular course of treatment. You do not have to be treated for your diabetic retinopathy. However, if left untreated, the abnormal vessels usually lead to bleeding, scarring, retinal detachment, and loss of vision.
The main goal of treating diabetic eye disease is to prevent further vision loss. Treatment does not cure diabetic retinopathy, but it is often effective in helping you keep your sight. Be sure to keep all appointments with your ophthalmologist after treatments. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. Monitoring your vision is a vital step toward the goal of preserving your sight.